one of the things that we need to do in quick sort is to partition the array into sub-arrays. The idea is that we have a pivot and all the elements before the pivot are less than this pivot and all the, all the elements on the other side of the pivot to the right side of the pivot are more than the pivot. So there are many ways of doing partitioning and this is just one of the ways. So given an unsorted array, this is the first element and this is the last element, we might start by choosing, let's say, the last element as our pivot. So we want to find its position somewhere here so that on one side, on the left side of this pivot are all less than the value itself and on the right side uh, are elements which are, have values greater than this uh, pivot. We have two counters. One of them is i. We start by putting i as one less than the first element or rather the, the position of the first element. And a j is the other counter that will run from the first element to one less than the last element. So we first make a comparison between the two, between the pivot and <coughs> the j element. Now if this is larger than this, we do nothing, push it back, and we move the counter j. And we do the same thing. Now, if this j element is less or smaller than the pivot, what do we do? We increment i, and then we do a swap between the i and the j. So then, the next thing we do is that we move on to the next element and we make a comparison again. And if this jth element is smaller than the pivot, we perform the same operation. We increment i and then we do a swap. And we put it back. J goes on. And we make a comparison. Now, this is larger than this. We do nothing. Move on. J is larger than the pivot. We do nothing. We move on. Now, J element now is smaller than the pivot. So what do we do? We take i, increment, and we do a swap. J moves on. We do a comparison. This is larger than this. We do nothing. So that's the end of that run. Now, so where is its position? The pivot's position will actually be one more than where i is. That means at the i plus first position. So we will shift everything, move it to i plus one, and the position of the pivot is actually found. This is the position where it should be in the entire array. And then we have a partition here. where all the values are smaller than this pivot and a partition here, all these values are larger than this pivot. And we can continue the same procedure for this partition and the same procedure for this partition recursively.